Nasuri yani fistula ni ugonjwa ambao husababisha shimo kubwa kati ya njia ya uzazi na njia ya mkojo unaotokana na mama kuwa na uchungu wa muda mrefu bila matibabu anapojifungua. Sharon Korir ni mwadhiriwa. Alipata nasuri alipokuwa akijifungua mtoto wake wa pili mwaka wa 2017. So doctor unfortunately didn't come on time. And I, I got tired. Baby got tired. Baby forcefully came out. Tore my vaginal lining completely to the rectum. So there was a hole. Siku chache baada ya kujifungua na kurejea nyumbani, alianza kushindwa kuzuia mkojo na kupitisha haja kubwa katika njia ya kupitisha haja ndogo na baada ya uchunguzi alipatikana na nasuri. Here I am I'm noting I'm in my bedroom I'm breastfeeding I'm eating and my you know my body is discharging urine and all that. And of course the smell coming in. There was a smell of smelling smelling badly. Then I was diagnosed with rectal vaginal fistula. Baada ya kufanyiwa upasuaji wa kurekebisha njia ya uzazi, alianza safari ya matibabu ambayo ananieleza kuwa haikuwa rahisi kwani alitengwa na marafiki na hata familia yake. I was told that you know I had to be admitted in hospital in the camp, but sadly I couldn't because my baby was so small, exclusive breastfeeding, I couldn't leave my baby at home. The surgery was intense, very painful procedure, even the healing process was so intense and painful because you can imagine that trying to reconstruct a vagina and also trying to reconstruct the rectum and the healing process a lot of swabs of antibiotics you know a lot of a lot of uh, diet take you have to do diet that will not really you know that will really mess up the stitches on the rectum so it was a whole change and nine months con continuously of doctor's visits um, every week of, of the month you know every week monthly I would, I would i would go to see the doctor to see how um, the condition was and with my nature my character i'm a very I'm a people's person so i was slowly going into depression slowly getting depressed then having low self esteem kulingana na daktari Dennis Miskela hospitali kuu ya Kenyatta kuna aina mbili ya nasuri moja inaadhiri njia ya haja ndogo na husababisha muadhiriwa kushindwa kuzuia mkojo na ya pili ni choo kupita kwa njia ya mkojo where the wall that separates the vagina and the rectum yeah and that will start to die off because when you press something so hard the blood supply is cut out then it dies off then with the time you find that, that the died, the area that died off you start forming a wound then it becomes hollow yeah kidonda inatengeneza hapo alafu sasa cho or the feces stool passes through that rectum kutokana na ukosefu wa elimu katika jamii kuhusu nasuri baadhi ya waadhiriwa hupata msongo wa mawazo na hata wengine hutengwa na jamii. So it was a very overwhelming period because you, first you're in pain, secondly you have to clean, thirdly your baby is tiny, fourth colic. I lost it. I would I would I had moments of crying. I would really cry and I would ask God why. Kulingana na Miskela iwapo kutakuwa na ufanisi wa upasuaji mwadhiriwa anaweza kurejelea maisha yake ya kawaida na hata kuwa na uwezo wa kujifungua tena. So it's something that is treatable and if there's anybody out there who is suffering from that or no somebody suffering from that is fair that you only plan and come we do that procedure. Kulingana na shirika la afya duniani kila mwaka wanawake kati ya 1500 na laki moja hupata nasuri. Aidha wanawake wawili kati ya mia moja wanaojifungua hupata ugonjwa huu. Huku dunia ikijiandaa kuadhimisha siku ya ugonjwa wa nasuri, kibarua kikubwa kwa wadau ni kuelimisha jamii kuhusu ugonjwa huu na jinsi ya kuuzuia. I'm really happy that uh, the world and the nation and generally human beings are taking matters of women's health seriously. To dedicate a day to mark a feast is something that means a lot to women. Jujina Magundu K24 Weekend